other professor saying why you forgot the room. Okay, today we look at organization chart. Okay, uh, in one hour, maybe 45 minutes, we conclude chapter four. Eh? We go very fast. Okay, why this, this chapter is important? It will come out in your class one. The test one is related to project management model, role and responsibilities of management. These two will be in your test one, question one, and question two, in your final exam, question one, question two. Okay. Now, what, what is the importance of having organization chart? What do you think? Why, why a company or any organization, they need an organization chart? Why? What do you think? What does organization chart represent? Imran, you in the class? Imran? Noah? So this is a recorded. Imran not in the class. Uh, Edison, are you in the class? Okay. You need eighty percent attendance to sit for final exam. And in first class, you come in thirty minutes after we start class, you consider absent. Okay. Edison, why you do you think organization chart is important? The answer is not on the screen. Why do you think you need organization chart? We can wait now. Huh? We can wait for half an hour. Just wait for your answer. No problem. In our class, there is no right or wrong answer. Know their place, so and what to do. Okay. Okay. Uh, we understand your your statement, but if you put that one in your answer, you might not get the point. Okay. Anyone else? Robin, Robin, you here. Why? Why do you need organization chart? Why you go inside the company or, or any any school or any university? They sure so they will be or any department. Even you go inside McDonald, there is a manager, then crew at the side of the counter. Why? Specific task. Okay. Responsible each group. Okay, same like Edison. Okay, you haven't hit the a very important word. Huh? Okay, let me get one more. Joshua, Joshua, you there? Joshua Chong. Why? Why do you think organization chart is important? Know their position. Okay. Position and work. What does the position means to you? What is what what I try to look for the main keyword. What does the position equivalent to? Responsibility. Uh, you hit one of the keyword, another one. What makes the manager can tell the, the staff to do things? What, what are the things that 
authority, yeah. responsibility, responsibility and authority. These are the two keywords for chapter four. The rest is just elaboration on these two keywords. Okay. So remember uh, these two keywords, responsibility and authority. These are the two things that is important for chapter four, especially linked to the organization chart. And there are many, you, later you, uh, you will see different types of organization chart, at least three. So you elaborate based on the differences of, of their responsibility and authority, how they, how they distribute the authority in the different kinds of organization chart. Okay. So this two lah. Okay. So organization structures, they are used for authority and responsibilities. Each one of it have their own definition. Lah. Okay. Authority, authority is to make decision. Okay. In project management, authority is the power to make final decision. You remember previous class, we have the stage and gate. Stage and gate. At the gate is the authority things. Who have the authority to make the final decision based on organization chart? Okay. Now, responsibility is a uh, role, task, job description. Oh, this one, responsibilities. Okay. Uh, so, in the answer, if this kind of question come out about the organization chart, please mention authority and responsibility in your answer. Uh, without these two, maybe you might not get the full marks. Uh. You can write one paragraph, very long one, half pages, but without this word, maybe full marks is five marks. You only get maybe one mark. Because you're just circling around, circling around. You're not mentioning what is this. Okay. Uh, another one is accountability. Accountability. Accountability is answerable for the completion of specific assignment. Okay. So authority, responsible, accountabilities. Basically, accountability and responsibility, they are, you can say, as the same thing. Uh, role and then what you need. Who are answerable for the completion of a certain task? Okay. So when you combine this equation in management, accountability equal to authority plus responsibility. Okay. So don't mix this equation in terms of management. Okay. Accountability equal to authority plus responsibility. This is a management equation. Uh, so the differences between these two, authority and responsibility, they can give it to a lower level of organization. What are the levels? So the one that I draw on the whiteboard here, level one, level two, level three, level four. Okay. Some some textbook they say this uh, the, on the top one, uh, uh, they label label as level zero, level zero, level one, level two, level three, and so on. Okay, so it depends on the, the, the definition of that company. But here is just that you can delegate to the lower levels in the organization chart, the authority and responsibilities. Accountabilities is more focused on the individual. You're very specific. Oh, uh, Dr. Ang, do what? Uh, Jonathan, you do what? Okay. Okay. We look at traditional management. So this is what you've seen in the very traditional setup. So you start with the CEO or executive office. Then you go into department or division, engineering, finance, and all this. Then you break into a department division. This one can be section, can be specific, specific section or division. This one at the larger scale. So smaller company, they combine these two. They combine these two, right? Uh, then section and so on. So if the, the question asks you, uh, elaborate on the traditional management.
you are Ika Shiva, right? No. What's your name? Ah, Imran. So if the question asks you, explain your answer with a diagram, especially linked to the traditional management structure, this is what is expected. Huh? You don't like, I, I don't very focus on the numbers of box you use. Uh, what I'm looking for is the wording, for example, executive office at the top. Division, you don't need to draw five. Maybe you draw two or three is, is enough. Then another level, you go to department, you split the, the each division into two departments or even one department also can. Then you go further, lower level, go to section, you draw another splitting of the things. Okay. Uh, then this one is individual. Individual, small, small box is individual. Yeah, so this is important. If the question mention the keyword, explain or explain your answer, support your answer with the diagram. I mean, this the uh, if the question asks you traditional management structure, then this is expected in your answer. Okay. So sometimes the marks for one diagram like this or one one drawing like this uh, will be five to eight marks just to draw this one out of twenty five. Um, one careless mistake that I often see is your spelling, your spelling in the word. Sometimes, like for example, division, you might miss out the I, you write DV sun, means wrong. There's a minus mark there. I will just circle and put question mark. What is DV sun, for example? You miss out the I. Okay. Uh, so, for example, section, some of you might write S A C T I O N, also wrong. Okay. So, uh, be careful on the uh, English word of uh, the spelling. Eh? The rest you read, eh? the rest you read. Is it, eh? The start from department here is more technical already. Eh? Start from department or technical, the rest is more on management. Okay. Division, executive office, they are the head and the GM, general managers. Okay. Now, if you look at this kind of traditional management structure, FM, functional manager, they have absolute control over the budget. Okay. Previously, we in the chapter two or chapter three, we mentioned there are three types of uh, organization, project-based, non-project-based, and hybrid. So if you're looking at the traditional one, uh, where you see the division or the functional unit, there's non-project uh, organization. So the functional manager have absolute control over the budget. So this one you read, huh? so important is that they control the budget. They can request for how many monies. Uh, why? Because profit and loss, profit and loss belongs to each of the financial department. Okay. And also, functional manager, they have manpower flexibilities. They able to control who they can assign uh, for the specific task means the, they have the power to decide on money and uh, manpower. Okay. Read all this, okay? Advantages, disadvantages, also very popular kind of question in project management paper. So this one you read, uh, advantages here got more than 10. Remember five or four from here, usually five. Uh. So the question will ask advantages of something, disadvantages of something, give five, at least five answers. So it means five for advantages, five for disadvantages. So here you have flexibility to remember any five from here. Okay. Disadvantages also you read, 
Uh, read any from here, then remember five. Okay, now we start to go into, just now it's a traditional organization. Now we go into pure product or project organization, project based, uh, project ties, project ties mean project based organization on pure product organization. So it will look like this. Uh. It look like this. So for pure product or project based organization chart, you will see something changes to the wording. It start from GM, then each column is start with project or product. Product A, product B, product C, and it this one will repeat. If it's need energy engineering, you put engineering, need manufacturing, then manufacturing. So you see for product B will repeat the engineering and manufacturing in the organization chart. This is the difference between the traditional and the project based or pure product organization. And uh, so it, in the project one, GM, PM, GM, PM, PM means product manager or, pro, or project manager. Uh, it means this is based on projects or products. Uh. The normal criteria is for as long as there is a continuous flow of projects, work stable and minimum conflicts then they will use this uh, pure product organization setup. Okay. In here, because it's a pure product or project-based organization, program manager PM maintain complete line authority. Means project manager have a higher authority compared to functional manager, or functional unit manager. Uh, so uh, here is PM. It can be line, though you can use the word line manager or functional manager or, or functional unit manager for line word. Uh. Okay. So again, uh, PM, you are the one who communicate. Uh, PM, your mouth, uh, your mouth, your, your communicate uh, is the only things that you need to do. Uh. Your task is to communicate, right? Integration and communicate, like what you learned in chapter two. Okay. So again, if you your if the company set up, if the question give you a, a scenario that mention need strong channels or something, then it's project based. Okay. Okay. So this one is long lead time. Uh, uh, this one is how to trade off, lah. How to you do trade off means let go of the things. Okay. So here, where does the authority of PM come from? They come from uh, top management or GM, right? Top management, GM or vice president or CEO office, right? Then. They handle all conflicts again, communication problems. Your mix become conflict. Right? You need to solve all the conflicts. Again, I've got uh, and the advantages and disadvantages. So here more than eight or ten. Remember five. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Remember maybe four. For this one, maybe four. Okay. You don't need to memorize all, but at least half from here. Okay. So you read, huh? So you read. Okay. Just now, you, you are introduced to one is the traditional or non project based organization chart and project based organization chart of pure products. So there is a hybrid. Hybrid means uh, in the textbook they use metrics. 
là U matrix. So U matrix, right? Okay. So matrix, this one. Um, so matrix, the matrix organization, you can be used for project driven companies. Uh. It's a hybrid from the pure project just now. It's a hybrid version of uh, project based organization or pure product organization. Now you see what is the difference between the metrics and the pure product uh, are pure projects. The black color one is, let's say it's a project base. All right, I write something on the whiteboard. So this is project A, project A, project A. This can be engineering, 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 and so on. What is the differences is that um, you shift, uh, you shift this one, you shift this one, the, the PM level parallel to the functional unit manager level. You shift become parallel. Okay. So you see, if you draw the matrix one, you need to show something like this. From the GM, go down. This actually flip here, but just to have more clearer presentation, they tilted the PM axis. So these are the functional unit, engineering, operation, finance, and others. Then the communication happened in the matrix way means in the web uh, kind of uh, communication it means pm and functional manager they share the same responsibilities means they need to communicate means you see project responsibility cross with functional responsibilities uh, just now we we mentioned the definition of responsibility authority and accountabilities so here the responsibilities is shared or cross um, between the functional unit and project manager. Yeah. And PM and functional unit or FM, they are parallel. Authority, they are parallel because they sit in the same line. If you move this side to this one, actually it's the same line. Uh, so you need a very good communication skill in this kind of setup because you don't have authority <laughs> i mean every everyone the authority is the same everyone can make decision okay uh, so you need to communicate in the metric structure okay who haven't signed now uh? okay rest you read uh? Okay, the rest you read directly from the diagram. PM report to GM and functional unit also report to GM. Uh, however, however, in this case, PM have the total responsibility and accountability for project success in matrix uh, setup. If the project fail, PM is the one who get fired. Lah not the functional manager. All these are technical experts. Usually company that use metric, they won't, ex they won't fire the expert one. Uh, so uh, this is the differences between the project uh, product-based organization. Uh, product or non-product. Uh, non uh. So this one functionally have functional response, maintain technical excellence. Uh. So if it's technical fault, like for example, you manufacturing for Nike shoes, if uh, recently I saw one TikTok uh, video about a, a, a one, one, one brand of the car, the, in front the wiper there got one plastic, it become brittle. Uh, so that one is, if that one happen, it's either the technical uh, functional managers will fire or the PM will fight. Depends on the series of the projects. 
Okay. Okay, so this one. Project management is a coordinative function. You coordinate only. You coordinate. Coordinate means you, you, you rearrange the process. Uh, but metric, metrics management, they are collaborative function. So these are the keywords that uh, important if the question asks you uh, about metric management. All right, so this one is a, is a keyword. Lah. Again, my slide is a, uh, is a summary of very long chapter. Uh, maybe it's a two pages, it become one pages. So we need, need to go and read more uh, on the uh, organization chart. Huh? Okay, and there is an appendix in the canvas. Uh. There's an appendix in the canvas. Uh, go and read. Uh. There's one document that I mentioned. Go and read. Uh. The question will come from there, even though they do not appear in my PowerPoint slides. Go ahead and read. Huh? Okay. So the successful of this uh, metrics organization will be information sharing. It can be mandatory because you are collaborative. So if you do not share information, the project will fail. Okay. So these are the direct comparison between side by side, pure. Uh, pure or project based structure with a metric structure. Okay. Okay. So, how the question can come out? The question, section A, maybe 25 mark, section A, you ask you um, use a diagram to illustrate. Typical or a pure projects uh, organization structure and a, 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 a diagram to illustrate metric structure, 10 marks. Means five for here, five for here. For section A, 10 marks. Section B will ask you about advantages, disadvantages. Okay, the question might be. Uh, Explain what are the what are the advantages and advantages of projects structures and give advantages and disadvantages for metric structures. Uh, fifteen marks. So uh, maybe fifteen marks. Uh, you divide lah. Uh, maybe uh, four out of you need to maybe four, you give two or three advantages or disadvantages, uh, something like that. Okay, can I? At least you know like how we ask question. Okay, uh, so you might adjustment uh, for, for if this, this kind of question come up, right? So 25 marks, A will be diagram, B will be maybe explanation or something. So if this one got two diagram, diagram A, diagram B, and this one explanation, advantages, disadvantages, you have two, right? Uh, you have A and B, A and B. So if it's 25 marks, then this one I might adjust to 16. This one got nine marks. Uh, nine marks means this one is, these two, it depends on some, uh, this one maybe uh, five marks, this one maybe four marks. Uh, it depends on the complex complexity of the diagram, right? So this one might be four or five. Com uh, combined, you get nine marks. Then this one explanation advantage of sixteen marks mean maybe this one got two, two, two or two or something. Okay, two advantages for each. So you got eight. One answer is two marks. Something like this, lah. Two or three it depends. Okay. So uh, if the question asks you three advantages, you give three. Lo. If the answer gives you two, you write three. Also, I'll mark only two for the answer. But it's good that you give at least one point just in case you do not write the keyword. Lah, the keyword. Huh? 
So the, what are the keyword? I will extract from, for example, this slide. Lah. Um, for example, staff can maintain expertise on given projects without sharing key personnel. If you write staff can maintain expertise, you only write here, I'll put question mark. You need to write the full sentence. Yeah. Yeah. Don't guess, huh? don't let me guess. Huh? Don't let your assessor guess what you write. Okay. okay, go very fast a bit. This one you read. Huh? Um, for metrics, uh, do you need a uh, certain ground rules, or uh, so that you it, it, it works? Uh? Participants are full times. Means inside here, everyone is full time. Uh, so if you go to work, there are two type of main contract: full time contract and uh, part time contract. Uh, so in the full time contract, you have another two: permanent staff and contract. Uh, so now today you see a lot of government announced already. They propose that they will change most of the permanent contract into uh, permanent staff contract into the new recruited one will become a contract of service. Means contract staff. Lah. There's a differences there. Huh? There's a differences there. Uh, um, okay. Uh, horizontal as well as vertical channel must ex exist for making commitment. So this is the same. Quick and effective methods for conflict uh, resolution. They must be a uh, effective way solving conflict. If not, then everyone, you wait for me, I wait for you, and then cannot move already because you're sharing same responsibilities. Okay. The rest you read, huh? Okay, now you cannot have two working environment are the same. No, no working environment are the same. Therefore, no company will have the same matrix design. Okay. So these are the questions you need to address when deciding whether you want to use matrix structure or not. Okay, so this one you read, uh, who decide? You still back to the three keywords: authority, responsibilities, and accountabilities. Okay. Okay. Advantages, disadvantages. This one you read, lah. Uh, remember four or five from here. If just in case the question asks you about advantages, disadvantages. Okay. Ah, uh, disadvantages. Uh, it's safe to to memorize three 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 or four three or four okay all right so there's a differences between the wording project management and project engineering they are different huh so what is project engineering if you use the word engineering is more towards the application of knowledge already. Uh, okay, the rest you read. Mm. This slide is important for this doc. Ah. Because you need to answer my why do you choose what factor you consider when you're choosing between the conventional uh, project base or pure product or matrix? What do you consider? So this one got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Remember three points from here. We don't expect you to remember all, but at least you can give me at least four points from here. Yeah, so you consider the size, the length, the span of control, cost, management, location, available resources, and unique aspect of projects. Still use back the triangular 
diagram to help you about project success. Huh? The triangular project success, time, cost, and performance, or customer requirement. Okay, time is the project length. Uh, cost is there, uh, project cost. Then this one you elaborate another two uh, resources or uh, location, unit aspect of projects. Again, uh, here if the question asks you about factor, there is no customer requirement here. You need to elaborate the customer requirement there. If the question asks you basic factor of that influence the selection of project organization form, if you write time, it's still here, it's still there, project length, but time, if you write cost, you still get marks. But if you write customer at customer requirement of performance, uh, put a question mark there. You need to elaborate based on here. Again, when we when we mark your paper, we base on the keyword only because we don't have time to go and read uh, your essay. Uh. Uh, we will look for keyword then give you mark give you mark sign. Okay, selection. There are parameters. Just now is factor. Uh. This is parameters. Uh, don't confuse within factor and parameters. So we have devices, structure, distribution. And IT information system. Okay. So this one you read, ah. Huh? This one you read. Authority is change of uh, command. Inference distribution. Um, this one is the design changes, location, your salary. IT is the uh, information system is how you pass down the information. Okay, this one is very important in matrix uh, organization chart because in matrix you need to share information. Huh? It's very crucial in matrix. You need to give right information, right person, and right time. Addi additional, this one you just read through. This one uh, ask based on this person. Galbraith, Galbraith. Uh, so if the question asks you about Galbraith, uh, you need to maybe put in three from here. Uh, what are the additional factor proposed by Galbraith that can influence organization chart? Uh, remember three from here. Here got one, two, three, four, five, six. One. Again, we don't expect you to memorize all. At least half of from the selection here. Apply for benefit uh, or advantages, disadvantages. Huh? So this one you read. Huh? So you read. Okay. So just a very quick quiz. Which organization form is the most difficult to integrate project activity? What do you think? Difficult to integrate. Huh? What is your guess? Huh? Kong, Kong. What is your guess? Huh? Weak matrix. Okay. D, D Yong Chun, D, ah. weak matrix, ah. strong matrix. Why? Why strong matrix? Why strong matrix? Okay. The word here is integrate. Ah. The question mentioned difficult to integrate. 
you see metrics one uh, they share and work on responsibility everything got overlap on okay it's the first one uh. the word is integrate uh. integrate means sharing of information let's say this is a traditional organization i change the pm in uh, the pm here into fm so traditional one finance maybe won't share information with the r and d hr maybe wouldn't share any information with the uh, sales for example right uh, for example they they uh, hr they won't share salary or commission of that particular salesperson because it's pri private uh, it's a pnc things okay again keyword here integrate integrate what I mean by integrate sharing of information you don't see in the organization one you don't see finance mixed with uh, other engineering department one that is the idea okay i mean the the question you need to catch the keyword huh? catch the keyword all right now which organization form will would the project manager process the greatest amount of authority which one Ensure not metrics. Why? Why? Why not metrics? Why? D. Uh, why? Why this question? Project manager process the greatest amount is not answer for metrics and rig because all are same. PM share the authority with. FM, right? With FM. So which one? Projectize, huh? Traditional one, sure, no, don't have lah. Because traditional one, maybe PM is not even exist in the organization chart. Maybe, yeah, maybe. But traditional one, again, PM is where? If a traditional one is here, PM is like a par uh, someone parachute from somewhere. That assigned by the GM to monitor the project. Ah, okay, so if you can answer, maybe, maybe you already understand uh, what is important for this uh, module. Which organization form does the project manager often have the least amount of authority? Is actually the another one is the weak metrics. Okay, so which organization form is the project manager least likely to share resources? with other projects which organization form is the project manager least likely to share resources with other projects is projectizer means every column is project one project two project three project four you are the pm of that project usually you want to make sure your project success you don't want to share resources let's say you build a house you don't want to share your excavator, all these things. Uh, because if you share your project, might, might, uh, might delay or something. Uh, okay. Okay, number five. Which organization form do organize or that the PM have the greatest likelihood of processing reward power, weight salary, the administration function? Assuming project and line manager are the same person. Lai, which one? Lai Yen Tong. Which one? If bracket here, project and line manager are the same person. Do you think metrics have the same person? Ah. Ah. 
<laughs> means you don't understand the diagram already. What mean by organization chart again? Authority, responsibility, and accountabilities. If you, the same person, appeared in the organization chart, why you need to show the organization chart? For example, let's say you're seeing this one, GM, FM, and FM, this one. This one is project, right? Is project, ah, sorry, matrix, right? Matrix, right? Uh, if your PM and FM, they are same person, why they still need to put PM here? No need, right? So they are traditional setup. Traditional one, your PM can be anyone. Yeah, so these are the some differences. Lah. You need to get some clear picture. Lah. If not, you answer the question asks you matrix, you'll give me traditional. If the question asks you traditional, you'll give me project and so on. Uh, then whole question gone already, uh, 25 marks gone. Yeah, it happened. Uh, it happened uh, in the previous semester. It happened. I asked something, you give me another thing. Whole question gone. Uh. I give two marks out of effort, to, two out of 25, just to show the moderator this, this student got attempt, attempt to answer, but wrong answer. Okay. Now, which organization form is the worker greatest jeopardized of losing his job if the project gets cancelled? Jeopardize means destroy or uh, risk of not doing it. Huh? Greater jeopardize of losing his job. Which one? Projectize. Huh? Okay. Because projectize, they all the finger point to the PM. Huh? Anything happen, point to the PM. Uh, if matrix, then you still can point finger. Uh, yeah, functional manager not support la. Uh, this PM do not communicate la because you share ma, share authority ma, in matrix. Uh, you can pinpoint. You can point here that classic cannot. Classic is very specific. Uh, you do this one, then you do this one. Uh, very very. Uh, okay, classic. The keyword for classic means usually they are weak in communicate one. The keyword for classic. Project, every time link with the project manager. These two, usually the question come you come to ask you when conflict happen, how you solve uh, these two. That kind of nature of question. Uh. Number seven, matrix structure with a project manager most likely have a, a command technologies. Strong, balanced, weak, cross-culture matrix. Most likely have the command of technology. Strong metrics. Huh? What mean by strong metrics? Means the project manager has some expertise in his hand. He able to authorize or not authorize. Give, give strong recommendation. When they say something, if, if that PM is a project manager is is an expert for that. Let's say the Y card or CNC machine, so he can the PM actually have some sense of technologies. He can just decide on the technologies. Then during the discussion with the functional manager or engineering department chief, then he have a higher say. I mean, he can convince the functional unit to follow his uh, recommendation. Okay. This one you read, huh? How you select? How you select PM? Responsibilities also you read. This here got five point, remember three. You produce all these things, resources, uh, and any alternative. If anything happen, communication focal point for internal. Negotiate 
if any conflicts happen within the functional discipline. Okay, this one you read, huh? Uh, this one, uh, conflict. This one, interface, what is this? Uh? So PM have all these things. Uh, they are skill, they need to have a skill in something. So don't confuse this question, major responsibility with skill. Uh? Uh, again, uh, project management, this module, play wording a little bit. Uh, so you need to be careful on the wording. Okay. So if the question give you, ask you a responsibility, mean dislikes. If the question asks you about skill they needed, you elaborate based on interface, planning and control. Uh, interface have all this elaboration. Uh. Okay. Interface, resources, management, means interface management, resource management, planning and control management. Okay. All this you read now nah. means you elaborate based on this point. Okay, so if the question asks you about skill of a project manager to manage a project successfully, we expect you to have three answer: interface management, resource management, planning control management. You write three main title, then you elaborate based on the point here. Elaborate by mentioning all these keywords. You reorganize or uh, become one paragraph or two lines, three lines. Uh, don't give me dot. Uh. Don't give me dot. Right in the sentence. Uh. Today, what is the difference? This one you read. This one is the 21st century. They know a lot of things already because you are having a degree level. Last time, 20 years, 30 years ago, it's very hard to get degree. So now today, um, uh, you can get degree holder most of the time. Okay, so this is just a chart illustration. What are differences between 80s and uh, 20s, uh, 2000 centuries? So technical skill, quantitative skill, problem solving, behavior, uh, business conceptual skill. So you see as you move become more and more modern, sometimes you don't need technical, uh, no, cannot say no need. Uh. Your component of technical skill is reducing. Why? Software become more and more stronger. By one or two click, you can get the analysis result already. You only need to know how to explain the result from the simulation. Why? This, this red color, so what? You need to do what? Okay. So technical skills string a little bit. Quantitative, still there. You need to do some analysis, right? So problem solving skill also increase a little bit. Behavior skill, this one you need to contact with person, right? Business concept skill increase because uh, you're dealing with the P and L, profit and loss as a project manager. Okay, uh, so these are the, the things that you need to, uh, uh, to know. This one you read, uh, integration, all these things. Okay, so there's a slide here. So, manage, uh, project management position and responsibilities. So you have project management position, these, these uh, three. These are the responsibility, these are the skill. So you have one first group, second group, third group, fourth group, fifth group. So the question can come either two group from this, this table. The question can ask you, what are the responsibility of director program and skill required for director of program and VD program, right? And it asks you to compare to PM. Now, of course, we keep repeating the PM, so PM most likely will come out in the question. Okay, maybe we stop here. Let me see. Huh?
Okay, uh, I think we go two more slides because uh, you have to see a lot of still more. Okay. The rest we just read. Uh, functional team, what are they? Project team, uh, PMO. Uh, project manager, what are they? Functional manager, what they do? This, one here. this is a project organization chart. It looks something like this. All right. So you have a program director, you have a engineering management, operation management, and you see this one, uh, it's a mixture of different programs. This one is under VP, but this is under program. But inside the department of this author, there's a different different in charge person on the different program. I hope you can see the characteristic of program management uh, organization chart. Huh? So these are the explanation. Huh? For six major program, but somebody inside there got some inference. This one you read. Huh? Okay, this one you read also. Uh, two technical wording, report directly and indirectly might be helpful in your writing, in your writing your answer. Huh? So the dot one is a indirect, solid line is direct. Okay, this is just a, a chart. Lah. Now we don't use this chart anymore. Huh? We use the project management chart, huh? your milestone chart and so on. Okay, this one you read, huh? This one you read. This also you read. Uh, okay. Okay, with this we conclude chapter four today. Next week we go into chapter five. There's a replacement class, ah. Huh? Next week, just take note, ah. Huh? Let me stop the recording first.